Good morning, Heather. Welcome to ABC. I hope you are ready to learn a lot of cool science. Hey, Miss G. I am excited about this class. I heard we do lots of labs and no homework. Is that really true? Yes. If you work hard in class and complete all your work, there should be no homework. Of course, attendance is very important as well. Oh, you mean you expect me to come to your class every day? Yes, Heather. I expect you to come every day and I expect you to be on time. No tardies. No tardies. But, Miss G, what if I need to go to the bathroom? Five minutes is not enough time to go to my locker, see my BFF, and go to the bathroom. What am I supposed to do? I think your boyfriend and your best friend will survive without seeing you between every class. In ABC, we do early work for the first five minutes of class. This is a prompt that deals with what we covered the day before and is worth five points a day. If you are tardy, you get no credit for early work. Can you afford to lose points? No. I don't want to lose points. I will work it out. What else are we doing today? More how I run my class? Stuff in district disc full and guidelines, I suppose. Yes, Heather, we will cover all of that today, plus fill out some consent forms for Sijourn. You are going to love Sijourn. You will get to write a science news article, and if it is good enough, it will be published online. Tell me more. I love to write, and we usually write lab reports and research papers in science. I will. But first, we need to cover the rules. Remember that you all need to have your school ID around your neck starting with first hour. I have a spare ID that I can issue to you if you forget your copy. Or if you lose it. You get one free and then it will cost you $3 for each replacement. I have string if you don't like the plastic lanyards. What other rules do we have to cover during first hour? We have a new tardy policy for the building. Five tardies means four hours of detention. You need to dress in clean clothes that have no gang signs, drug signs or vulgar language. Your clothes need to cover all the necessary body ports. Okay Mama G, I get the dress code. What else do we need to review? Yes, we need to discuss cell phones at school. No one can use a cell phone during the day and if one makes a noise the teacher will take the phone and give it to the principal. The first offense gets you a warning and a letter home. A second offense gets you a two-hour detention and your parents have to come for the phone. Then third gets much worse. In subordination and five days of zap, then ten days of zap. If it continues you get out of school suspension. So keep your cell phones and other electronic devices off and out of sight. Please. Mama G that is really harsh. This is the 21st century and we are digital. How will I survive? One hour at a time, Heather. One hour at a time. You can make it. Perhaps we will use some technology in our ABC class. Oh good. That will help me make it through a day. Thanks. Now what? Next is Saturday detentions. You get detentions at our school for cheating on schoolwork, bullying, minor class disturbances, driving to school without permission, too many no ID badges, minor scuffling, having tobacco, plagiarism at level 1, PTA, truancy, and vulgar language. To help you out with language in ABC you can say pick when you get upset. That word will not get you into trouble. Wow, everything leads to a detention. I guess an after-school detention is better than a Saturday one at West High. What things put us on Zap besides ID? Many many things will send you to Zap. Academic dishonesty careless driving at school or coming or leaving school. If the police report you to the school that counts too. To pantsing, driving to school without permission, failure to attend detention hours, improper exposure of undergarments, major scuffling, nuisance items, more PTA, more tobacco, plagiarism, kicked out of detention, sexual misconduct, sexting or having sexually explicit materials, knowingly having stolen property, truancy, using tobacco, vandalism and failure to complete ZAP assignments. Oh goodness. That is a lot of things that can send me or my classmates to ZAP. You are correct and ZAP is a bad thing for ABC students. We do a lot of labs and you cannot do those labs in ZAP. 
So promise me no zap. I promise. No zap. You have just about covered everything. Except out of school suspension. That is right. In third hour you will hear all about out of school suspension for discipline problems. I only have to cover out of school suspension for chemical related abuse. It just takes one offense and you are out for 10 days plus more days from the superintendent and many bring expulsion from the district. It is not worth it. Do not even bring over the counter drugs to school. The school nurse can keep Tylenol for you that is the best route to go. Mama G that is a lot of information to hear at one time. Why so much? I know it is a lot but you can handle it. Just remember to do the right thing and you will be just fine. Now we are going to fill out the permission slips for sojourn in lab safety. Ready? Yes I am ready. Tell me about how I can get something published.